let's start, man. Um, welcome to show 22. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, digital marketing today. Uh, we've got Achilles Shong from Minnesota, right? What, what city? Yes, sir. I live in Hugo, Minnesota. Just a little, a few minutes north from St. Paul. <clears throat> okay, cool. So anybody from Minnesota, give us a shout out. So we, you know, see what kind of support he's got, you know. So far, we got California mostly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not late for them yet. <laughs> we got, oh, we got two, right? So we got two, two from Minnesota, St. Paul. So you, you, you do have a buddy here from Minnesota, but the two other the ones that are giving you a shout out is from uh, California. So um, let's jump into it, man. Dude, so so that concert, I mean, what did you see about that? That, that kind of sticks out. So it's amazing how they were able to get people to actually like clap, like collaborate and work all together to do this because usually um, – I feel like the thought of doing internet an internet concert would be so laughable. Yeah. If if we weren't in the situation that we're in right now. But okay. the thing with that is that you can get so many more viewers, thousands of viewers without making them buy a plane ticket, buy a ticket to get in, get seated and pay attention at the same time when you can go straight to their phone. And that is how digital marketing works all together. Getting people to look at your business through the phone, getting them to order your products, uh, schedule appointments through the phone. Yeah. And that, that's, that's what it's all about. So I was excited to see that because for me, the digital world is where the future is. And we're about to get into that right now. Awesome. So <clears throat> that's what you do, right? So let's, let's see, you know, let's, let's talk about it. So like, how did you get started? So I got started uh, two years ago. Uh, just, I, I was in one of those crisis moments where I just had a son. I just had my first kid. I had mm -hmm. a dead end job and I saw no other way. I was a college dropout. I have a, a, a two year degree, a, a public school degree, but uh, a community college degree. But then, you know, I was supposed to go into medical and do all this great stuff and become a doctor, but yeah. it didn't turn out that way. That's not the person I am. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I was you living. Doctor? Holy cow, bro. <laughs> I was living the, the Hmong parents dream, you know? Okay. Gotcha. But then I realized, you know, I, at this point, I'm in my mid twenties. I'm failing a lot, and I didn't like it. So, what do I do? I look on the internet. How do I make yeah. money from home? How do I make money? I'm having a kid right now. I gotta make money while being a dad. Um, and then, of course, the great advertisers, Ty Lopez, yeah, really genius marketing. Those guys are always using advertising to sell their products, sell their classes. So, guess what? I'm one of those guys who took a, a course that I saw on YouTube. So, so, so those of you guys don't know who Ty is, you know, I think Ty is like one of the biggest, uh, social media guy. Right. And I think he like the top, the top guy, right? Like YouTube, yeah, right? Been, he was, he's been, he's one of the first people doing it ever since like Google started. So he's been using the internet to, to advertise for a long time. Yeah. And, and I think, uh, YouTube you know, just, just from rumors, like he's one of the biggest spender, like actually the number one spender in advertisement for YouTube. So he, that means, that means something that means he knows their stuff. Right. So, yep. um, and then, and a I, lot of people know him. Yeah. So, I mean, there's gotta be a reason why he's spending money to advertise to, you know, cause he's making money coming back. Um, so, uh, how about Billie Jean? Can you, do you know anything about Billy? Can you tell us a little bit about Billy Jean? Yeah, Billy Jean's a guy from San Diego who started in his parents' um, attic, uh, yeah. just with a computer and you know himself and just learning tools. Um, he made it out, and now he has his he has his own uh, agency in San Diego downtown, and um, they give a an awesome class which I took, which I'm still learning from right now, because like we spoke earlier, the guy has his own podcast too, and if you just listen to it, you can tell. You can tell how much words and writing can sell your business for you and sell your products and sell your services. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't know how much you paid for it, but uh, I waited till like, I mean, I've been watching Billy for like, uh, I mean, I bought Ty. It's funny. It's funny you say that because I did like uh, during Thanksgiving, you know, the Black Friday part. I was, yeah. you know, I waited, I waited like almost six months just to buy, to just, just to buy their stuff. 
so, get it for like 70 percent off or something right <laughs> it was like it was like 95 percent or something off right so it was like it was like i don't know it was close to two it was 200 something for thai and it was like almost 200 for like uh for billy's uh training stuff too so uh yeah but man dude if you were purchasing like without the discounts it was like it was like crazy pricing because they bundle all that stuff into one big bundle and it, it yeah. was just so so uh yeah i mean and their content is pretty cool um they i love it so especially billy i like billy you know that his yeah. stuff is amazing what do you use mostly billy's or thai stuff i use mostly billy's because his is um one thing Ty did teaches you how to use instagram youtube uh yeah. google and everything but uh billy jean is the master at facebook marketing which is the route that i wanted to go into yeah. Right, it's better to focus and master one thing than it is to learn everything, right? So I chose to stick to Facebook marketing and it's it's the most used social media platform still. Yeah. So it, it has all your customers are on there, man. If you if you have run a business, almost every single one of your customers uses Facebook. They just you just need to take advantage of it and you know capture them. Yeah, absolutely. Like uh, so those of you guys that don't know, I do a vacation rental i do vacation rentals over here in disney world so let me know if you guys need vacation rental over by disney world and i guess i think what that where did i see the stats where they can actually see where uh what kind of users you see that are coming from and i think it shows you like from the phone right or a computer on there do you yeah, so when you when we get into this whole advertising thing <clears throat> facebook has its own platform that does have tools for you uh so you can track down who like what kind of people look at this and what kind of people go here and do this um you can look at people's hobbies and where they live and whatnot so if for your vacation rentals in florida uh was it orlando yeah mostly yeah yeah so what we can do for you is we can target people within a radius like a 10 mile 20 mile radius yeah who live there or we can do people that that don't live in Florida because people are going there for vacation, right? So we can do people that have been uh, looking at like like Disney websites and watching Disney movies, or, that, or people uh, that have been looking yeah. up travel websites. That's what I want, and uh, yeah. yeah, we'll come into it. So now I know we're just kind of testing it. So you know, I'll give you, I'll give him like an example, like you know, uh, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll jump into it right now. Like uh, I'll give you an example. Like okay, so let's say I'm in like like your town, like in Minnesota, right? And we'll use the you know the papaya salad thing right so what if i do like papaya salad whatever like thing and i want to target a particular audience right so how do you i get started you know so and just, yeah, since, oh, like, like, just for yeah. you i'm going to reveal a secret that only <laughs> i've used for myself so far yeah. but since we're on home hustlers i will reveal it Hey, there you go, man. <laughs> Thank you. So I, I once had a, I once, I once ran a clothing company called Hmong Inspired. Okay. And we targeted Hmong people, of course. But I found I didn't know this until I tried. I found out that on Facebook's Facebook's advertising platform, you could target Hmong language. Wow, dude, yeah. that's amazing, bro. So, dude, you and it wasn't always there. It wasn't always there. Yeah. It, yeah like halfway between owning this uh, trying to run this company it popped up and the Hmong language became available so i used the shit out of that um because we were small it was me and my partner we weren't we didn't have a huge budget we just did we did drop shipping if you know what that is drop shipping so we 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 did none of the clothing clothing like we didn't make it we didn't print it we didn't do ship it or anything we had a, a third party provider make our clothes all we did was set up a website and then people go order it and it sends to them uh, of course we made the designs yeah but um so this way you could have a hands-free no money startup all you got to pay for is website and little things yeah. right but we were able to target people on facebook all of our Hmong friends all of our Hmong uh counterparts with uh you know who who are involved so if if you ever on facebook you're a Hmong speaker and you look at Hmong um pages like Hmong hustlers you look at a Hmong uh you know, community page, California Hmong, uh, Minnesota Hmong page. Um, that Facebook knows, hey, these people speak Hmong. Dude, that's, a, 
I don't know if yeah. you guys know whoever's watching this. Do you guys, if you guys just heard what he said, that is a freaking amazing. So if you're gonna target, let's say, let's say two, right? Two has a uh uh two from uh we had a show yesterday. His wife does like Mongkanya, right? Mm -hmm. So I mean majority of your customer is gonna be like Hmong, right? So two, if your wife wants to target just like Hmong people, because it's you know that's that's more efficient, right? For you to target, you know, Hmong people. You can target that particular language group, right? That's that's what you're kind of saying, right? Yep, yep. Anyone who's on the internet that has been involved with something Hmong online, then Facebook knows. These these giant companies know Google, Twitter, Facebook. They all know you, man. They know all of us. So <laughs> there's really no way to protect yourself. <laughs> so, so Jami, right? So Jami, I don't know if you guys see Jami uh, right here. So I know she does like uh, sticky rice, like a purple sticky rice. So she just asked that question. I need to learn how to target every mom person on earth, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's her market. But I mean, I mean, she, she does other stuff too. But I mean, that's amazing, right? So instead of like, you know, I mean, instead of just saying you're targeting a particular group, like a city or a state, you know, you can just, you're saying that we can just say, hey, any person that writes, is it, is it any person that writes in Hmong or how, how does it go? Is it like, how do, how do they categorize it? How are they determining that you're a Hmong person? Right. So I don't know a hundred percent cause I'm not a developer, but from what I've seen, it's any Hmong page or any Hmong, like any Hmong profile that, um, that, you know, involves Hmong language. If you, if you like, let's say you have a tracker on you. So this is me, my Achilles tracker, the profile. If I go visit Hmong hustlers, if I go visit um, Hmong village page, they know that I've been visiting Hmong pages. And then, they, then, then that advertisement can get shown to me. Yeah. Wow. So yep. it, it kind of, I mean, it kind of connects the dots and say, okay, he's been going here. He's, or that person, he or she is most likely a Hmong person, right? Is yep. that what you're saying? But you're yep. saying and by language too, right? So language, yep. So is there like a drop box that says, okay, target everybody who who speaks this particular um language? Yeah, it's actually a, a category you can choose to target. So the Hmong language. Um, I don't know, know exactly how they do it, but I know that it works. <laughs> well, you know, when you when you um you you know when I could you you go to like all these Hmong groups, right? <clears throat> and then you see like you see them write like you know they post a video and they write in Hmong whatever and there's a, on the bottom it says translate or something like that i think it's that particular whatever bot is like looking at it and goes okay it's trying to determine what kind of language it is so i think that's how it does it, it could I don't know. Be everything man it could be they could just take um information from whatever else you filled out before any language questionnaires put it all together yeah yeah. So, okay. So we'll, we'll just kind of go through the list here. Jami goes, does this apply to uh, any, to other ethnic cases? I can't even pronounce that, but I know what she's talking about. Like, does it, I'm sure it does, right? Because we're kind of talking about more people and that's really specific enough. Yeah, um, that's very small and specific. So if we wanted to do Spanish, that's huge. If we wanted to, you know, of course, English, right? But if we wanted to go outside of the United States or any language, we could do that. Yeah. Yeah. As long as Facebook has that kind of information. <clears throat> Great, man. Dude, dude, this is this is killer. Dude, this is game changer because I was thinking like I was just gonna target a particular city, you know. And now how do you target a particular group? Like, you know, since I'm a Hmong hustler, you know, I mean, if I want to target maybe I'm selling a t shirts or something, um, and I'm only talking the Hmong group, you know, how do you do that? And you just kind of explained it. So there's a tip, whoever watching this dude this is like game changer right here so so how did you do it so let's talk about how did you do it so you 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 were selling t-shirts what did it work did you try it yeah so as an advertiser what we have to do is test everything po that is possible so i had to test location i had to test state county uh language um just and you can also target pages big pages so if there's a big Hmong page um whatever it is thousands of followers um, and, and Facebook lets you, you could target people that visit that one page. So uh, there's a lot of ways to go with it. There's a lot of ways to do that. Wow. So, and, like, 
like moments. for us we didn't really expect anything right we didn't really yeah. expect much because we're just nobody's just we have our own clothing line out of nowhere i made a few videos uh i used my wife and my 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 sister-in-laws to just kind of model for me did like short clips <laughs> and then you know after i got views on it you can you can actually advertise your videos and your your pictures so you can get thousands and thousands of views as long as you're willing to pay for it right you yeah. can use that as an advertisement so we got views and then slowly people are buying stuff um and even now after we discontinued people are still liking the page slowly right yeah. even when there's zero activity to it uh it's still it's still out there wow wow okay so um that's it man that's it i mean i think that's good enough we can just leave the show <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing here's the thing it's a, there's a reason why ty lopez and billy jean sell all their courses for over a thousand dollars it's because it is a complicated thing to do it's not a lot of money gets used like in any business you need to have a learning curve yeah. so that's why a person like me exists so i can help you through it or just do or just just do it for you so Right. So let's start with the basics. I know we kind of we did this as as a teaser. I mean, you did this. I mean, it was it was amazing. Like this is great info. So so let's start from the basic, right? So let's just say you're starting out as a business. You know, uh, I'm starting out. I'm making papaya. What's the first thing I should do? I'm assuming we start out with a Facebook page, right? Right. Well, first you have to think about how much money you have to spend. Okay. If you don't have a budget to advertise then maybe uh word of mouth is the best for you if you got like if you use all your money on your product and you have nothing for marketing then you got to build your, build that fund build the budget to market okay but um let's let's assume that you have a little change and you you know you got a couple hundred bucks a month that you can use and you have your papaya business your papaya sauce or papaya whatever right what you do is you have a business page I I was thinking like content, right? Should we use, should we throw content in first, you know, or we should just go right into marketing? Oh, right. So content is part of marketing. It, content is king. So if you have like no money to do anything, you at least have a, a phone and you can make videos off your phone. Yeah. Once you can move up to nicer quality, better camera and actually have people do your videos then do that. But you can start out with your phone. All you need is a good voice. Make sure to have a nice microphone and uh, make sure you have some type of photography skill, you know, um, to do this. But you can basically start up with just a phone. And what you want to do is put content out regularly. So what I mean is if you can post something once a day, then do it. Make sure it revolves around your business. Make sure it relates to your business. Mm -hmm. If you have papaya, uh, show a different part of the papaya every day. This is the this is the plant we use. Uh, one day, next day, this is the sauce and how we make it. Next day, oh, this we add. We like to add extra tomatoes. You know, this is our this is our secret ingredient. <laughs> yeah, Get creative yeah. with it. Yeah, and then so people so people can look at you without you trying to sell to them. Who likes who likes a person that is always trying to sell? Hey, buy my papaya. Buy my papaya right now. Buy it yeah. today, buy it tomorrow, buy it. Your sisters, brothers need it. No, nobody cares, right? Yeah. People want to see how did you make it? Yeah. How did you come up with it? And how good does it taste, right? Yeah. So you feed off people's emotions uh, without selling to them. So once they viewed about 10, 15 of your videos, they're already ready to buy. If they made it past 10 videos, they're like, they like you. They oh, like wow. you right now. Okay. And yep. So now you can, now maybe on your 10, 15, 20 video, once in a while, I would say, hey, buy my stuff and then they'll be like yeah i've been thinking about it for the last three weeks i want to buy this papaya <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah i do it, it, you there's a point key you put in there like use your emotion use emotions right you're like dude uh i don't know like uh, you can just kind of say hey doesn't this look good don't you guys want any of that stuff i don't know i'm not that good at selling papaya so <laughs> <But> <laughs> and this is this is where this is where there's a big leap between old ways of marketing and the new way the old way is you just uh have people walk by your stand right and if they like it then they like it they get it they get it they never see you again they never hear about you ever again unless right. it's from a friend or word of mouth but with facebook with the internet i can show you my advertisement a couple of times a day once yeah. a day every week every month until you've seen me so much that you know who i am for free 
for free. Yep. And you don't have to pay. You didn't have to walk here. Yeah. You didn't have to exercise. You just had to use your eyes because you're on Facebook anyway. You're going to look at Facebook 100 hours a day anyway. Yeah. <laughs> right. Most people, right? Most people. Yeah. Um, so that is how that's kind of like, I wouldn't call it brainwashing, but that's how like the media works, right? Everything, movies, entertainment, um, commercials. Why do you see the same commercials on the on the channel like every every break? It's because yeah. they're paying for that. They want people to see it over and over again. Gotcha. So so does you like go don't don't you guys um so for you guys, I'm kind of going off questions that I saw off his videos. So Achilles has a Facebook page which I, I tag in the in the post. So he's got a list of videos on there that he gives quick tips about how to, you know, promote like your stuff, your businesses. So, so like, um, I'm kind of feeding him that direction. We didn't quite talk beforehand, but I'm kind of feeding him like, tell us about this particular video. Right. So like one of them would be like, what's a good post versus a bad post. Right. Do you have any examples? Yeah. Uh, one of the skills that we have to develop to do digital marketing is copywriting. And what that is, is being able to sell or be able to talk um, using written word. So the way you write and the way you put together your posts really matters, whether it's words or with pictures. Now, um, there's a structure to it. I won't go into it. But basically, what you want to do is, um, if, if you know me, if you ever look at the things I write, I write in one line, one line paragraphs, one or two lines only. Headline, um, are you thirsty for papaya sauce? And then I drop enter, enter. This is made in uh, Minnesota, um, made here in the USA, drop, drop another. So it's easy to read. If you ever see a long post where it's like a big block, you yeah. don't want to read it. You, you get a headache reading it. But if you can space it out, it makes it a lot easier to read. Once your customer or potential customer makes it to the bottom of that post, they've already read your entire story and uh, there's a high chance that uh, they might like what you're saying. Gotcha. gotcha. So with a good post, um, usually you want a picture. Okay. So I said you want to post once a day, right? But when you post, you don't want to make it meaningless and useless. Also, you want to have a good picture. Uh, it doesn't have to be professional. Take a picture of your face. Take a picture of the project you're working on. Take a picture of your product. Take a picture of your business, your friends, uh, anything. Anything that will make someone's attention draw. Because usually people, they scroll down Facebook, right? Yeah. Uh, first thing they'll do is they'll look at a picture. If the picture looks good, they go back up to the writing. Mm -hmm. And then in the writing is where you write your stuff. And that's when you capture them. <laughs> okay, so... So you were saying that the picture is more important than the content or the writing. So well, the most important thing is the writing, but the picture catches people's eye. Right. It's the right. first thing. Yeah. So whatever. So use that picture for attention and then the writing falls in afterwards. The writing will get you the, the closer. Yeah. The writing is the closer yeah. basically. Yeah. Right. So awesome. So, all right, great, great. So, um, guys, you have any questions? Comment, you know. Uh, let's do this. Anybody got a Facebook page? Maybe, I don't know, maybe we see if that, there's a way we can kind of put it in here and we can kind of uh, look at it. If you guys do, go ahead and comment um, in the below. Put in your Facebook page, page in the comment. And if not, if we can't do it, I don't think I can share it on the screen here. But I got a button here that says I could uh, share my screen. Okay, good. So if that's the case, maybe you can analyze it. You know, say, hey, maybe this doing this will maybe help out. So if you guys, anybody want to try that, we can we can kind of do that. Uh, just do a little quick review what how you look at particular pages. Uh, the reason why I was leading you to this is that you need the content first, right, before you start marketing, right? Is that is that how it works? Uh, it really does. You can do it at the same time. It really doesn't matter, really. Okay. Um, you could do your videos and then uh, do it as you go. Okay. But you do need to have some kind of game plan. If you have no game plan at all, you're just kind of might you might just waste money. Well, oh, give me your game plan. Like, if, okay, so I'm doing this particular business. You know, I'm starting to post all these pictures of like papaya salad. Um, and I guess the next thing is what share. You know, share out to my friends, right? That's, that's yep. the first part, right? 
Yeah, so we, we, we went way off topic. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of yeah. pulling you back here. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you have your content. Let's say you have a few videos now. Uh, you're ready to show to show to the world. Yeah. Right? Show it to your friends first. Um, of course, not everyone's going to buy from you or share your stuff, but you can do you can do your best to kind of build your your um, reputation as the papaya guy, Mr. Papaya, um, Mr. Papaya Chai. We we'll call it your page that Hi, papaya, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> then, uh, so, since once people know your name, like your immediate circle, they know your name as Mr. Papaya Chai, the Papaya Man. Yeah. Um. Then they know who you are. They're more likely to share your stuff and you know say, "Hey, I support. I might support this guy." Once you have a, a small fan base like that, then you start um, trying to get to to uh, get strangers to see you. At this point, let's say you're not ready to spend money yet. Join every single group you can any Facebook group you can and uh, that relates to you. So if you got food, right, go to eat and go, go to Monk kitchen. Yeah. And um, don't be annoying. Don't, don't go, don't post your page. Say, Hey, this is my papaya. That's the most annoying thing you could do. You don't want to be that sales guy. Okay. <laughs> what you want to do is you look for people's questions on there and you answer their questions. Be a good person. You have to, uh, you have to deliver value first. So you can be trustable, you can be likable, and then you you answer their questions, and then you already had you already started something with that individual where they could eventually buy from you or uh, help you spread your business. So if you if you do it out of the good of your heart to help someone out, and you just keep doing that, you build that um, what is it? You build a bigger fan base. Yeah. Um, you build a bigger community just from just from people knowing you. And that um, comes from that comes from I think you had an engagement uh, video, right? Like, is that, was that like, uh, we can talk about that when we go a little bit more into the Facebook okay. ad. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, um, with this, I lost my train of thought. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Being, uh, someone just commented being the trusted advisor. Yeah. Being the guy who's being the person who's knowledgeable. Right. And it doesn't mean you have to be the most knowledgeable person in the world. This is another secret. As long as you know more than the person that is asking the question, you can sell something as long as your papaya is better than the papaya they can make your papaya can sell <laughs> that's amazing man. that's a great comment right there bro <laughs> <laughs> i learned yeah i learned that a while back and that's true because i'm not the best in the world i'm not a, a multi-millionaire agency right i'm just a guy among guy that can relate to you guys and i do my thing and i have more information than you would do at the moment so that means I can tell you how to do it and I can sell my service to any one of you. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and, and it's not like school teachers know everything, right. But they can teach you how to count and how to do the English and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so whoever is commenting in those groups, they already have a question that you can answer. They already have a need that you can fulfill. You, uh, you already have a product for their need. So they're more likely to already want, what you have. So uh, if you got some hungry mouths in the eating eat, uh, eat and go page, you show them your papaya, uh, you're already like halfway there. But yeah. let's say you go to a car page, a car enthusiast, and you say, hey, uh, this is my papaya. Who the hell cares? No one cares about that. No one cares about your product. <laughs> gotcha. You know? gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So go to the pages that relate to your business, relate to your service or product, and uh, become known in there. Become the helper, the advisor. Gotcha. So what, I mean, what other sense, let's just talk about like free stuff right now, right? So we got, uh, you can share it to your friends, right? And then you can share it to other groups. Is there any other tips to to do like share your stuff out? Yeah, so if, well, when it comes to free, we call it organic. So this is organic marketing. You're not paying for it. You're just putting it out there with your own effort. Um, so if once you get to the peak of organic, right, like people start sharing your stuff, um, some people get big this way too. You don't have to spend a dime really. If, if your, if your, if your item goes viral, if it can go viral without spending ads, then yeah, go ahead. Then you don't need to spend ads until you want to become like a, until you want to scale your business, right? Until you want it to grow bigger and bigger. But for now, uh, as the papaya guy, you're, you're at the, you're at the top of your organic game. So there's not much more you can do. You only have so much time during the day yeah. to comment, you know, right back to people. So what you want to do now is say, hey, how can I reach 
a thousand people a day? How can I reach 5,000, 10,000 to get people to buy my products? I'm ready to ship it out. I have this whole setup where they can just order and I can ship it out. Um, so this is when Facebook advertising comes in because now we can target the Hmong community, the Hmong language. We can target uh, your county. We can target your town, city. Uh, we can target a radius around the Twin Cities, a radius around Orlando. Uh, and uh, that's how that's how we'll do it. We'll show your ads to people. People need to see your ads at least 10 times before they even think about buying your stuff. So if you think you're just going to spend it once and then people see it once and buy your product, probably not going to happen. Yeah. How many times do you think about Best Buy before you go and buy you know the cords that you need you know uh it <laughs> it it works the same with advertising gotcha how many times how many times do you think it does it does take for you to see stuff to start buying so um you can get lucky right but of course but what what the numbers that you want that are more reliable is people need to see your advertisement at least 10 times damn 10 10 times, 10 times. and plus you need to have good content yeah. Where if people don't really trust you yet, because you're just some guy on the internet, they can go to your Facebook page and say, Oh, this guy has 10, 15, 20 videos talking about his papaya. Yeah. Oh, he's trustworthy. I like this guy. So the key is to have a lot of content. And I mean, once you have a lot of content, you you already rise as the guy, kind of, you know. Yeah, and think about how many papaya sellers are doing the same thing. Probably maybe one, <laughs> zero, right? Well, we, we already know uh, one, right? Which is like Terpeak or something like that, right? Terpeak yeah. and his, his buddy, uh, Cy in Wisconsin or something like that. You can probably count it in your hand. How many people are using uh, digital marketing and like uh, effective social media to uh, sell their papaya, right? So you could be the number six. And that's not a lot of people to compete with. So to how many people eat it? I I get what you're saying. So you can start out by organically sharing out to your friends, and hopefully that gets to a certain level where you're already that guy, right? And then you can start hitting the groups, different food groups, and that's like your next level of um, trying to get new followers, right? Because you always want that new follower and coming in. And then the last step is pretty much you now you can you can start targeting uh, folks in different states and languages. I guess kind of what we're kind of kind of going to at this point. Right. Yeah, so once you once you go to the Facebook advertising side, you can now become structured in how you how you advertise yourself and market yourself. What you'll do is we'll send out in a in a. Um, like a first few rounds of advertisements. Let's say we try, we have three different pictures we want to use, or maybe add a video in there. Um, so we can find out which one works best. You test out which one works best. And you can, you know this by, you can see all the people that view your stuff. So let's say this video got a thousand views. The next one got maybe 2000. The next one got 5,000. Okay. Next time we're going to use the one that got 5,000 and we're going to move forward with that one, leave the other two. So now that we have the best video, we want to test out the best copywriting. Uh, I wrote this this way on this video, and then I wrote another one and another one. Let's say we have three different advertisements again. Uh -huh. You choose the winner out of that one, combine it with the best video. Now you have your best advertisement. Mm -hmm. And you keep going like that until you, uh, you're you satisfied with your results. And at all at the same time, you can see how many people are buying. You can see how many people clicked on this video, on this link. You, you know what's going on in the background because you can see, uh, oh, this, this uh, you know, even just this last hour, this many people um, bought my product. So let's try to park. Let's try to target this hour. Most of the time, let's spend the most money in advertisement at uh, 9 p.m. Right. It gets really it gets really detailed, uh, which we can't explain all in one video. Unless we turn this into a course, and I, me and you split 50 50, we charge it. <laughs> <laughs> let, us guys, you guys, let us know if you guys want some sort of like program to like how to enhance your. I'll make, I'll make one up for you guys. <laughs> this is amazing. This dude, I mean, I'm, I'm digging this. I'm going to start a papaya salad company. 
<laughs> even if you you have something existing already that has never done any of this, it's never yeah. too late. You start right now. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Let's see. So you guys got any questions? Let us know. Um, if you have, I don't think we'll do the businesses. Uh, I think we, there's still more content. I mean, we're already at like 45 minutes into the show. And we're getting pretty kind of close. And I still want to ask, answer some questions too. So you guys comment your your Facebook page, your businesses. Uh, is it all right if you can review it later, Achilles? And then yeah, we can, can do that. I can do that. You can message them like, and it'll get more personal that way where you can message them and say, hey, you know, do this little tweak on your page or something like that. Or here's a quick tip, you know, um, or something, you know. And here's the thing. Every business, whether it's, um internet product base service uh just you're you're limited to one location or if you can sh uh, do ship out to the entire us or another country all of this can be done online whether it's b2b b2c so business to business business to customer you can find other people that work for other businesses and advertise to them if you if you don't sell it straight to customer you sell straight to a, another business right uh, kind of like me i'm, I'm b2b um mm -hmm. it works for every type of business gotcha, gotcha. So if you want to drop your comment your facebook page um and i can take a look at it and then we can have a message over the uh messenger and i'll tell you what things i liked and then what things you could work on and where you can go next and it doesn't matter what type of business you have uh, anything could work okay um so uh, we had a question here. Uh, I'll just go. We'll just go along and ask, ask these questions along the way instead of waiting until the end. Because the two goes. If you're starting out, what's the ad budget you aim for, and for how long? Is there a requirement that you do? Yeah. So uh, it's going to be different for every business, but um, in general, you just want to start out with a couple hundred bucks, uh, maybe thirty bucks a day on advertising. Um, not forever. You do thirty bucks for a few days until you're satisfied with. Uh, your results, like what I was saying, saying earlier, three videos, three writings, yeah. three uh, posts, and you pick out which one you like the most, and then you you budget again for the next time you're gonna do it. Gotcha. And then once you find your winning product, you can just be steady. You can just do a few bucks a day, or ten, twenty, thirty, even go up fifty bucks a day. Uh, that's why I said if you don't really have a budget, uh, you might want to build your stuff up organically, organically first. But um, you can definitely do it with just a few bucks a day it's just going to be very slow your results might uh come in very slow you know right so like what does 30 bucks get you you know does it does it give so you, a, bucks get you a, a good a good test amount like 30 bucks will, will get let you know okay this works or it doesn't work like how many people get to see your stuff oh easily a couple thousand yeah um uh, 30 bucks a day you if you do this for a whole week you're gonna get in the tens of thousands of views um and then at that point you can already you can already uh like kind of build your your audience this is something i didn't talk about yet but you build the right audience uh, facebook knows what people have been watching and then you can do it where you only want to show this type of person how do you do that i mean explain that yeah so we'll, we'll go with the the three videos that we start out with, you 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 sort out which one works the best, and then what you do is you create a lookalike audience. So what this does is Facebook is really smart. They take those people that you uh, you got on the video. You can target who viewed it, or you can target who clicked on it, or who watched it, how much they watched twenty five percent, fifty percent, seventy five percent, right? There's so many things you can do. But let's say you take that lookalike audience, you you create another audience that is very looks a lot like that those people that clicked or whatever you want right like people that engaged yeah you talked about engaged this is when engagement comes in the yeah. people that who commented liked clicked or watched your video you can go for that all these people right you want to leave everybody else out some people don't watch your video they just scroll through the through the ads so you leave those people out leave get the people that are interested you make another advertisement you retarget those people only and that's called a look like audience. You, they look like the audience you want. And if you do this over and over and over again, after each ad, you create your perfect audience where you know there's a high chance they're going to buy your product. Gotcha. Or set an appointment with you. If you're like an agent, if you do real estate, uh, they can set an appointment with you easier because you know these people have less resistance. Yeah. 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 
So I think we, uh, so they're really, so to answer to his question, I mean, uh, I mean, I think you, what's the minimum you can start out with like $5 or something like that, I believe. Uh, I believe really, you would, you would want more than that. Um, we do, you could do the, go the route where you spend $5 a day for a whole month. Yeah. But that's a very slow process and the, the results are going to be kind of, they kind of look, they're going to look flat. Like gotcha. you've nothing differentiates. If you do 30 bucks for three days, um, it'll be a lot easier to, to tell which, what worked better, who are your viewers, who likes your stuff and whatnot. Gotcha. And then you can create your lookalike audience to retarget those people again. So, so what he's basically saying is like the speed of money, right? You throw more money in there, you'll get, you get a better, uh, get better view of your audience and retarget. I'll summarize everything how and how what what I'm taking my notes here. I don't know if you guys are taking notes, but I'm summarizing what I'm gonna be doing for my pod salad and I'll show you the notes in a bit here. But um yeah so so you're doing that first targeting just to get a list. That's kind of what he that that's kind of what Achilles saying, right? Pretty much just to experiment experiment. Yeah you're just experimenting on your first targeting. All right. So then, what what ha what's your next tip? Do you have another tip after that, or are you are you just going off that list? I guess my next tip would be uh, if you want to try this on your own, you want to get the full education on it. There's no formal education. You're just gonna have to learn through a course, or you know, you can learn as you can learn a lot on, on YouTube, but it only takes you so far. That's that was me, right? I, you because everyone's information on YouTube is different. But if you could learn directly from a mentor or uh, uh, someone who sells courses that it's actually reputable and good, then that's the quickest way to do it. But if you don't want to spend all that time because, you know, you're, bu you're busy business people doing what you're good at, you, um, <clears throat> you hand off this task to someone like me who can do it for you and you don't have to really worry about it, right? Um, so you got two options after that. You could try it yourself or pay someone to do it. Gotcha. Um, okay. So quick summarize, right? So quick summarize. I'm starting out. So those let's do a quick shout out here. So hey guys, so we're we're we'll do a quick re recap here. So uh let us know where you guys are from. We'd like to know. So we got quite a few I got 16 people right now. It is kind of late. Man, nobody hustling on a Sunday. Here's what we can do, Chai. What we, I can do is, if you, since this is going to Hmong Hustlers page, there's a thing, there's a trick we can do where you can give me access to your video or your page. Yeah. You can send your video to, to my Achilles Creative Marketing. Yeah. And I could pump it up for you and we can get a bunch of views. How's that? How do you do that? So basically what we're talking about already, I use this video, this live video as, as, uh, uh, what is it? An advertisement. We send it to a bunch of people that speak the Hmong language, people in Minnesota, California, Orlando, or yeah. Florida, uh, anywhere where Hmong people uh, live. And we can do it like that. Any Hmong people related to business. So you put Hmong language, business, and then that's our audience. But it'll be like a, like, so you're, you're, you're pumping it through the advertisement feed, right? Yeah. Through the Facebook feed, uh, advertisement feed as an ad, right? Yep. Oh, okay. I see. Now, I mean, we're not looking for that. If those guys aren't, you know, I already, I already did the the share. I don't think I mean share it to like um, the groups. I just kind of did this organically, like like you're saying to your friends, mm -hmm. like friendless. Um, but I mean, yeah, I like to do some stats on it just to see how it looks like. Um, but let, let, let me, let's just finish this train of thought. So, those of you guys, if you guys got any questions, let us know. Um, uh, since we are getting close to the wrap up here. Um, and I mean, there's, there's more advanced stuff that you, you want to, that you can teach that here, but I just wanted to get the basic here. So, so I wanted, so I start a papaya salad. I create a Facebook page as the next step. Right. And then from there I create content. Right. So then from there, uh, I share out to my friends, uh, the content and here's a trick. Uh, I cut in right here on your page. You you can, if you go to the community tab, yeah, uh, doesn't invite friends. You can invite your entire friends list to okay. like the page. So, which is, is a lot faster. Okay, great. 
So you share that out to my friend, all my friends join, and then I start sharing out content to groups, right? So that's all right. So great. Now we got more people. And then the next the next step is we can start advertising, right? Then we start targeting people because you know, first of all, you want to start out free first, right? And then once you get to a particular peak, I guess what you're saying is now we can start targeting certain people. So let's say I just want to target locally the people in my city, right? So if I'm in Orlando, I only want to target people in Orlando because nobody's going to want, you know, papaya in St. Paul or anything like that, right? So is that is that possible? I think that it is possible, right? Yeah, you can try it out. So you create different different ads. With the same same information, same videos, you can make one for Orlando. You can make one for all of Florida. You can make one for St. Paul, and see which one works best. Okay, so 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 you create that particular ad, you target that particular seed. So I target Orlando. So you're from what you're saying is, and then from that list, right? So whoever's engaging, I guess you're you're saying whoever's clicking on your my videos and my pictures, you take that list. Of because it captures that those people, right? Yeah, it captures their time frame, and you know, it's because I'm throwing money, I'm throwing like 30 bucks that should touch like you know, several thousand people, so I can get a, a pretty good list of people who's clicking on it. So, those whoever's clicking on it are interested in my particular product, right? Yep, and then what you do is you retarget those same people and you retarget people that have similar profiles as them, yeah, so. Oh. So, so, so yeah, you, yeah. Retarget, you retarget them, those same people again, but you can also target people that are identical to them on Facebook. Let's say the same age, uh, sex, hobbies, interests. Wow. What pages they visit, they visit. Facebook does it all. And then you get another group of people that look just like them. They have all the same interests, the same age, it's the same uh, activity online. Yeah. And target those people, then your your audience becomes more targeted. Gotcha. So, but anyways, let me just say I'm still trying to get money. So the first list I get, well, not the first list. The first list is the the test. The second list is the people that has been clicking on my stuff, catching it. So then from there, you want to target those people because you're saying that they won't buy from you within seeing it like several times. So you want to keep targeting them like 10 times or so, right? Yep. To so get multiple times. They might see one ad twice or three times, depending on how much money you spend. But then once you move up to the next level, you show them again. They see it a few more times again, and yeah. then show them again, and a few more times. And at the whole time, you're narrowing your audience as you go, kicking out the people that don't care about your content until you get to this really top where that's your perfect audience. Gotcha. Yeah. So let's say out of that thirty dollars, I got like I don't know, I got three hundred people that actually click on my, you know. 30, from that $30 advertisement fee that I paid for, you know, I get $300, <clears throat> 300 people that actually clicked on it. So you're saying that if I keep targeting them, I'm going to narrow that list down because they're going to, they're the guys that keep clicking on it. So then just focus on those guys. So maybe it narrows it down to like 150. So now you're spending less money, right? Well, Talk actually it won't, you won't be spending less. You'll, you'll be spending the same or a little more because you're getting more specific. Oh, it costs less to just blast it out there to everyone, but your results are going to be very thin, right? Okay. But if you're targeting people more smartly, you're getting more specific and there's a higher chance that you're going to sell something. It gets a little bit more expensive because your Facebook is working a little harder to show the same people over yeah. and over again. Okay. Yeah. And then at this point, you only have 150 people instead of 300 to show. You're gonna show them over and over again because you're spending the same thirty bucks. Does that make sense? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Fewer people, same amount of money. Yeah. They're gonna see it two or three or four times. Okay. So, yeah, that's amazing. So then, just keep targeting those guys, and sooner or later, I'll get my sale because there was a guy that keeps clicking on my stuff. So obviously, you know, the more the more chances they you know they see it, they're gonna buy it. So that's kind of that's the secret, right? That's the, that's kind of the secret. Yeah, take it like this. You can, every, everyone can relate. You see the advertisement; it's something you really need, but your wallet is really far away. Yeah, I'll skip it this time. Next time, you're closer to your wallet. <laughs> oh, I got my wallet right here, and I see the same ad again. I really need this papaya. 
Yeah. I'm so ready to buy. Um, wife calls. Okay, you leave. Go do something else. And then the third time, I got my wallet. I'm by myself. And I see this papaya ad again. This damn papaya ad. I'm so ready. My credit card is right here. I'm going to buy it right now. You know, I've seen this guy so many times. I trust him. His page looks good. He has people engaging. He has people commenting. His He's got followers. It must be legit. I'm going to try his papaya. That's how it usually goes. It takes it takes a few steps, at least 10. Yeah. 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 All part of that trusted advisor kind of concept um, or so. So we got a few businesses that I actually did comment, like uh, like Mon Creations, uh, Jami Official, uh, Cooley Photographer, uh, uh, Anali Designs. Um, let's see here. You guys, any businesses that you guys want to comment here so we can have Achilles look at it later? Um, mm -hmm. just to give you guys a quick look on, just give, just give you a quick tip on what he might see that might help your Facebook page, uh, promote better. Um, and then I think there was a question down here too. Uh, so the question, what? Uh, Luke, Lee Ku Yi says, what are common fit? pitfalls and mistakes beginner, beginners makes when using Facebook marketing. Yeah. So what's what not to do when you start marketing? Okay. What not to do is to not have any understanding at all and be so confused. When you go in there, you see all these stats and all these numbers, you have no idea. So you want to do some research first, just like anything. You don't go into a field with no knowledge. Um, it's going to hurt your pockets a little bit more. You're going to end up spending a little bit more money, get no results, and then you quit within a month or two. Yeah. So I almost that almost happened to me because I was so ready. I went out there and I did it. I put out my first ads. I started helping out uh, another business. And then at that time, in the beginning, it's like, I'm not getting anything. I can't sell this person's product. I can't get any appointments because I thought I knew it all. Man, I, I had the course. I just said, I'm just going to do this without really having a game plan and and, and uh, preparing. So I, I I started and I didn't go all the way. I thought I knew more than I actually did. Yeah, and that's the problem. This is a whole nother job. Uh, that's why there's there's marketing agencies popping up all over the U.S. Um, because this type of thing is is really important nowadays to be able to sell your product online. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, the biggest the biggest mistake is not doing any type of uh, studying or not any type of learning before you jump into it. Are there are there tutorials on it? I mean, from on it. I mean, is it does it get in depth or does it or is it kind of kind of like just a base basic kind of tutorial on uh, the Facebook marketing kind of stuff? Yeah, here's the thing: the YouTube videos make it look so easy where you can just go and do it. But there are so many ways that you, that you can go. There's so many options, like choosing a Hmong language, choosing the city, state, all these things to, to advertise. And you can choose them in any type of combination. So if you don't have the prior knowledge to say, oh, this is a good way to go. This is a bad way. You're going to end up using a lot of money for no results. And then you're going to say, oh, Facebook sucks. It doesn't work. You know, <laughs> <laughs> even though another guy over there is spending, you know, a few less than you getting better results, making more money. Um, that, that's usually how it goes. There's a lot of people that get into this field where they start out taking a, a course when they say, oh, man, I'm going to do this because Ty Lopez tells me I can do it in 30 days or, or three months or something. Yeah. And and then they they do it um, kind of naively. And this yeah. is this is where you get a lot of bad people trying to sell their service and then make a lot of people waste their money on a bad service. Gotcha. Because it's so easy to start up. All I need is internet connection. I just need to know a little bit more than you. Uh, and then you give me your money and I use it and we get nothing. So um, <clears throat> you really have to uh, actually have experience doing this and using a little money after a while to know where to go and what to do. Gotcha. So so you, you got to educate yourself, which kind of, you know, I bought it. I It, it is quite technical a little bit. You got to have a little technical knowledge in it, you know. Um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, if you got people like Achilles who does it, you know, day in and day out, you know, it's easy for him just to do click, click, click here and it's probably like done. Right. So, yeah. So 
I mean, what do you I mean? What are you charging uh, to help? Because I know you do this for a living, right? So what do you I mean? Just curious. What are you charging uh, to help people out? Like to do like Facebook, like marketing and stuff like that. Right. So my main service is to get people leads, right? So right now uh, I mostly work with a lot of real estate agents, a lot of real estate field. But I can do any to anything too. I've I've already done my own e-commerce store. I've I've kind of done multiple kind of businesses. I've worked for a chiropractor. I've worked for you know in the medical field too. So I can do it for a range, a big range of businesses. Um, I charge around two to three hundred uh, as a retainer, depending on how much work you need me to do yeah. per month. But then you have to provide your own ad budget. Okay. So if you can have set aside maybe four to five hundred bucks a month to spend on your own advertising and yeah. then you just pay me a little bit to to create your ads monitor them and deliver customers to you yeah then um yeah that's that's pretty much what i do if you'd like me to be your actual salesperson and to actually call people and talk to people to get them to buy your products or set yeah. up an appointment or visit your store then uh we'll we'll do a commission base gotcha hey yeah, yeah. that's cool so um so when you say what about content like, like do you help out the content or do we have to supply the content yeah if you have no ability to make content and you don't want to that's okay a lot of people cannot put videos together and it, it won't be good you'll just be losing money yeah. i can do it for you i can do very simple videos very simple photos um and put that together because I had to learn all this too, right? To, yeah. I had to learn video production. I had to learn um, how to edit photos to, to to do all this. So I can do all of it um, if you if you don't want to. So a lot of people like to have that creative control of their own business. So yeah. I understand. I'll, I'll leave that to you. But if you want me to do it, I can do it. Got you. With some cost into that. And I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that, I've seen you do some videos like, like a walkthroughs and stuff of real estate, you know, houses and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so explain that retainer for you. Like, what, what, how does that work? Like, like, is it just like an hourly thing or? Yeah, it, it won't be hourly because there's really no way for you to track me. And oh, there are like, you know, those employee tracking devices, but I like to just do a monthly fee. Okay. So I like to just say, you're going to pay me this much and I'll do this amount of work or whatever it takes to get the result that we agree on gotcha so yeah so and then you basically just push the ad out using their budget and then kind of tweak it as it goes and then you know um give and then you you get a performance base i guess and you just you I mean all this is track right yeah so all, yeah all the stats all the people that have clicked bought viewed purchased all of that is trackable so there's like there's always hard evidence to see okay how much did it actually help you gotcha gotcha so that's it guys so so reason why we we, we created this title says you know how to hire 24 hour salesperson is because this ad is actually your salesperson you know you're taking a picture or a video and you're you're making facebook push it out to a particular person or group or so so you wouldn't have to do it you know because you're i mean how are you going to reach like a thousand or two thousand people you know all in like i think if you wanted to hit them all in what a day i mean can you hit them all in within like an hour is that even possible yeah if you if you can spend 500 bucks in one hour you're gonna get tens thousand hundred thousand views man yeah that's amazing so i mean if wow so i'm thinking like if we go to like July 4 tournament, right? And we know there's gonna be like tons of home people there, right? And I'm sitting there, I'm like, all right, so I need to sell my papaya salad, whatever they, like that. And I have a tent and so I think I can target. So you're saying I can kind of go, all right, I know tons of people are gonna be on Facebook at the July 4 tournament. I'm gonna create a Facebook ad and say, come to this particular booth, you know, I'll give you a freaking code or something like that. And I'll give you like, I don't know, like 10% off or something like that. That's that should bring the whole market to me somehow. Yeah. That makes me smile because not many people have, not many people have gone into this realm yet. 
yeah. especially in the community, everyone's kind of behind. No one has dipped their feet into the internet side of things. Yeah. Uh, like on this level. So if you can be that one artist or that one food vendor that has all the attention, people already know about you before they even set their foot inside the gates. Yeah. They're going straight for you. They're looking for you. So that's that's like the best situation you could have. Dude, that's a game changer. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, dude, you guys are missing out. You know, just by using this one particular app, Facebook, you know. Don't be scared to use money to make money. You're going to have to use money to make money uh, if you want to take it to uh, the next level, right? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I feel like... I feel like coming there next year doing papaya salad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dominate, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's the, that's the show, guys. Um, how do people get a hold of you, bro? People, you can go to my Achilles Creative Marketing page. We'll, we'll uh, comment it again, and you can click on my uh, personal profile page. It'll, I'll have links on there underneath my picture to go to all my pages. Um, I'm also on Instagram. You'll see it on my Facebook page too, but you can just message me. Uh, I, I answer, I answer on Facebook messenger. So it's okay. pretty easy to reach. So yeah, I'll tag you, I'll tag your name on, on this video as well. Uh, I'll tag your, uh, your Facebook page on there as well. Um, guys get a hold of this guy. Uh, Adam as a friend. Um, if you haven't put your business on the comment, um, uh, put it on there. He'll reach out to you guys. Uh, he'll give you pointers. And then uh, I think you you do consultation too, right? Like, um, like yeah, definitely. So if you are not sure and you just want to know what will work for you or what I can do for you or what you need to do next in terms of social media and online for your business, yeah, I'll do free free consultation. We can talk on the phone. Uh, yeah. Just just message me first and we can set that up. Yeah, free charge, right? Free charge. Yeah, free. And then. I guess you give them some sort of a game plan and then uh, you guys can take it from there, right? Yep, yep, yep. We'll definitely talk and uh, see what see what you need and see what will, will work. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah, you guys, you got to spend a little bit of money to market yourself. Uh, this is a great way. Um, give us some likes, man. Give us, give us some likes for this guy, you know, just for uh, just giving me these little tips, man. I mean, I learned a whole lot. You know, I'm going to use this. Watch, watch out for me, guys, next year. I'm doing papaya at July 4th. <laughs> uh, get on get on it quick, everyone. This is this has been around for a little bit, but in our community, it hasn't spread like that yet. Even even outside of our community, let's 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 uh move more online. If you noticed this whole COVID thing has changed a lot of business going forward. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've ever used somebody to deliver groceries to my door. And it's the first time I've ordered so much from Amazon and from Walmart online. Wow. Without actually going to the store. So if you can if you can take advantage of the times that we're living in, then that even works out that works out even better for you, for us, for everyone. Right? As long as you have a computer, you've got social media, you got someone like me, someone like Chai, then you can make it work. Yep. Yes, sir. So let's go to the end of our, our uh, the last segment of the show. Uh, we usually ask all the guests uh, this question. So if if the question is, if I was to give you a billion dollars, what's the first two things you would do with it? That I would die. <laughs> <laughs> I would die. You wouldn't want to die, dude. <laughs> uh, no. no, man. It's It's been a dream of mine to... Uh, kind of go to third world countries and, and, and make sure they can catch up. If I have a billion dollars, the first thing I would do is invest that money into businesses, into growing so I can get $2 billion, hopefully with two to three to four or $5 billion, like, you know, the wealthier ones here out, out in the world, I can actually make a bigger difference on a different scale. Cause yeah. right now as regular people, the most we can do is kind of give good compliments to our neighbors and help people at the food shelters and help, you know, help family members. But a big dream of mine is to actually make a big difference where it'll actually have like a concrete level of uh, change for people. Cool. Cool. So what's yeah. the second thing? Second thing I would probably create, I don't, I'm kind of, I don't want to say I'm anti-school, 
but I, I want to make a different kind of school, like um, something for entrepreneurs, something for hustlers, something kind of like, a, you know, not the same structure, not the same traditional type of schooling. It, it'll be taught by, you know, real people with real experiences out in the field. Yeah. Um, and hopefully help people change their mindset. Because think about it, it, it. We've been kind of taught a certain way for so many years now to believe a certain thing and think a certain way. And that's, in my opinion, is why our poverty level is so high. And there's really no no escaping for a lot of people. But I feel like it just comes down to what our families know, what kind of knowledge we have. Because if you, if you grow up your whole life thinking, man, I have to trade my time for work. I have to work for, if I reach 20 bucks an hour, I'm set for life, you know? That's kind of the, the attitude that we, we really have. And I want to change that for anyone who wants it. I'm, I don't want to force it on people. But if I could create like a school or some kind of program, even an online program, um, just to help people do that. There's already people doing this, like the people I learned from. Yeah. Yeah, right, but I could just be another one of those, I guess. <laughs> awesome, man. You can be another uh, Ty Lopez or Billy Jean. You can be the next Achilles teaching digital marketing or something. I don't know. Like, entrepreneurship with Achilles. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Achilles University <laughs> or something like that. I'm going to show them how we took Try the Papaya guy from zero to a billion bucks. <laughs> that, 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 yeah, man. <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, we'll, end it, we'll end it with that, bro. Thanks for coming on the show. Uh, thanks, you guys, for asking these awesome questions. I hope you guys take something out of it. Uh, if you got any questions, hit up with Achilles. Um, and um, once again, guys, keep hustling. All right. Thanks, Achilles. Thank you for having me. All right. Good night, guys.